We're here with Furman head coach Clay Hendricks following the Palin's first practice of the preseason. And coach, uh, a lot of good work this spring and even more work this summer. I'm sure you guys are glad to be out, uh, get back out on the field and get into it, get ready for the season. Yeah, you know, these last these last couple of weeks have seemed like forever just trying to get to this day. And we're one of, probably one of the few schools still in school. You know, a lot of guys finish up uh, session two of summer school. and. So we're just having to work around that. So we're going at night, and uh, but good work, good enthusiasm, like like it is most places the first day. We just got to keep that up. I really like uh, two things. I think we're in phenomenal condition. You know, I don't know. We got to play ourselves into playing playing shape. Um, and I, you know, like the way we look. I mean, we certainly look like a different football team than we did. I know a year ago, a uh, little, little bigger, a little longer. Little, maybe a little quicker out there, so uh, I'm excited about that part of it. Well, you just took, took away my next question. Was, uh, this is uh, preseason number two for you, and uh, as a head coach, many as an assistant, and uh, long with many year firm and as a player. But uh, talk about some of the differences between uh, what you see now versus uh, your first go around a year ago. Well, just just comfort level. Uh, I think first of all, with our staff, um, you know, just having guys you know are. I knew they were good before, but just everybody's on the same page exactly. I think we have a pretty good idea what our guys are capable of doing. You know, what football stuff we've been able to do with them in the summer, which is not a lot, but certainly the carryover. Uh, this time last year, we're just still trying to find our way and who are we, and this was new for me. Uh, so certainly just a lot more comfortable in everything we're doing. A lot of uh, new faces out there in terms of many new positions. Talk about George Squall's movement from tight end to offensive coordinator coaching the quarterbacks, and you got Drew Duke in, in a new position, and Antonio Wilcox, and, and you know, traded into Jersey. Now he's uh, in a coaching position. Talk about some of those guys and the transition they had in their new position. Well, I'll see George and his track record. You know, this is not the first time he's he's been in that situation. He's had an incredible record developing quarterbacks and. Uh, you know, being prolific offenses and winning football games, and that's what we're trying to do. Um, you know, obviously Drew, uh, you know, you know, he's been prepping for this for a long time. Hey, I think he's probably well beyond his years and a little bit of preparation, and that's one of the things that's appealed to me. He's a really bright guy and good worker, and uh, I'm excited for him to get a chance and have full confidence in him. You know, Antonio's going to help us. Certainly have a guy that just played, you know, I know will help. Uh, in his role on our football team. And, uh, you know, made a few position shifts, but not a lot. Got a few guys in a few different positions and uh, got a really good young group. Um, I think some of those guys will play a part this year. I, I, I told our old guys, some of these freshmen will help you win some games. Um, hopefully it's not, not as many as we played with a year ago. Uh, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can just continue to develop each day and get a little bit better.